Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us a simple thing to do if people are always against you, if people always gang up against you, if people always tell lies against you, if people always humiliate you, if people always, you know, conspire against you, no matter how good you are to them, just to make sure that you get frustrated just to make sure that what belongs to you does not get to you. Just to make sure that you don't get to that level you expected to be in that office or in that place of work. Most of you come to me that you are being robbed of your promotion. Somebody that started work before, uh, you started work before just got promoted. And when you are more qualified than the person, you are more experienced than the person. Just because people always gang up against you and you don't belong to their gang. This is, I want to share with us a simple thing you should do. So that whatever thing they do, no matter how they gang up, no matter the kind of lies they tell against you, it will never affect your promotion. It will never affect your progress. There are some people that want to help you. Somebody will go and lie to them. Don't help this person. She's a witch. He's a wizard. He's this. He's going to steal from you. He's going to do that from you. These are things that people do so that somebody will not receive that blessing from a stranger. Even somebody you know that wants to help you. You maybe you will just out, out of uh, all of a sudden just share it with somebody and they will take the information to the best. Don't help this person if you help this person, you start experiencing bad luck. There are people like that, they don't want anything good to happen to you, even in the company where you live. People always gang up against you just to frustrate you. You will see your neighbors every time they'll be pouring water in front of your house, they'll be you know doing all manner of things that will make you want to fight or make you want to do one or two things. That will make them to not attack you. Please, if you're experiencing this or more, just watch this video and by the grace of God, no matter of gang up, no matter of evil plans against you will work for you or work against you. So what you need to do for me, you're going to get a knife, you're going to get an onion, then you're going to get cloves. These are my cloves. I'm still surprised that most of all don't know what cloves is. This is how close is. If you're in Nigeria, just go to people that sell garlic, ginger. They sell this thing. Just that they want close. Okay. Then another thing you're going to be needing is something you can write with. This is my piece of paper. And this is my biro. So how do you use this? You are going to write your name seven times. Because you, you don't know the, name, the names of people ganging up against you. Even if you know their name, we are not interested. What we are interested is for you to be free from any manner of gang up, any manner of conspiration. Let none of them work against you starting from today. Even some people, their own problem is their family members. They don't want anything good to happen to them. It, it's just a land that belongs to you. They will conspire and lie against you to remove that land. They, they feel that you're not, you know... You are not the rightful owner of it. You don't benefit. You don't deserve a big plot of land. And they know that that land can fetch you good money for you to change your status. They still want you to remain poor. You will see somebody will just go and bribe people in your community, and they will come and testify against you and take what belongs to you because you don't have money. You don't have anybody to fight for you. You will only be crying. You feel frustrated sometimes. Some people will go and drink poison and die. That will not be your portion, and that will not be the portion of any member of my channel. Don't let anybody humiliate you. So what you need to do, get this piece of paper, write your name seven times, your full name, your full name. Then after writing it, you are going to open this onion. Please watch the way I'm going to open it because this is where the main assignment is. Open it this way, not this way. Okay? Open it vertically, that's like this. Okay? Yes, you can see the way I opened it. So let the knife remain inside so that you can be able to push this paper inside. Then get your clothes. You are going to get four pieces of clothes. This is my four. Remember that clothes are very powerful to silence and cause problems to your enemies. So when you put the clothes, this is four pieces of clothes. You can see this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So you are going to put it inside this paper you wrote your name. Okay, in the center, you can see what I'm doing. Then you're going to fold it inside because you want good things to happen to you and return bad things to your enemy. So you're folding it inwards like this. 
So fold it in a way that it can enter the onion the way you cut it. So after folding it, you are going to speak because it's your command that makes only any spiritual work you are doing to work for you. You don't just do spiritual work without speaking. You have to speak. You say any man, any woman, any group of people conspiring against me, wherever you are, I put confusion among all of you. Whatever you have conspired against me, no matter the lies you've told, you've told against me, all of them will return back to you and you're going to confess to those people you've lied against me. Some people will want to come and marry you. Some persons will go and tell the person, don't marry this girl, she doesn't have a womb. She has done so many abortions, all these things are common lies we hear in the society. The person saying this don't even know anything about you just because she was opportune to hear that somebody wants to marry you. She will go behind you and go and lie. Sometimes they will say, ah, she has married before and come back. Sometimes they say she have a baby in the house. And you that is the man, you will not go and verify, you will run. These are things we see on daily basis. Or as a woman, they know that that man that is coming to marry you will make a good husband for you. They will go and tell you, that womanizer, if you marry this man, you will die. You. He has killed so many people. He even used the first wife for blood rituals. You will run. So that you will not marry, you will remain in your father's house. Please always verify information. When people come and lie against you, or come and lie to you against somebody, verify. Don't just start fighting a war you don't know where it started from. Always verify. That is very, very important because people are good at blackmailing people. Somebody will tell you, if you employ this girl in your shop, she's going to steal from you. That is why they sat her in so-so place. They are lies. They don't want anything good to happen to that family. That is why they keep lying. They keep conspiring. Sometimes they will, if they see that you're best staff in the office, in the company, they will come and steal or remove an, a very important document that you will be accused of. Maybe you're the only person that have access to that document. They will trace you. They will monitor you and go and remove that file. And maybe that is the file that contains the vital information of that company. The manager will come. I'm looking for social file. You Before you know it, they will fire you. And they are, the people that conspired against you will be happy that they have sacked you. Please do not fall a victim. Do this thing and let God fight for you. Watch how God is going to disgrace them. As they are fighting against you, as they are conspiring against you, confusion will enter their midst and they will start speaking all they have planned against you. And by the grace of God, you will be vindicated from their evil plots. Sometimes they will want to poison you. By the time you do this, some, one of them will come and tell you, please, if you go to that party, don't eat. They want to poison your drink and God will use that person to save you. So when you put it inside the onion, okay, just open it in a way. Don't cut it completely open. Don't cut it into two. You can see what I'm doing. Force it inside the onion like this. Let it enter very well. Then you remove the knife. You remove your knife. You don't need to throw the knife away. Then tie this thing inside the nylon and throw it away, trash it in your trash bin, or you, uh, you bury it, depending on where you live. If you cannot bury, throw it away where somebody will not see it. And by the grace of God, their mouth will be sealed. Whatever they planned against you, it will return back to them. So try this assignment. You can do this in the night, only in the night, not in the morning, not in the afternoon. And by the special grace of God, God must expose all your enemies one by one. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one.